Good evening, everybody. Can you guys hear me okay? Awesome. Wow, look at this room. It is incredible to see all of you here. Um, I just want to welcome all of you, and I'm just going to say right now that all of you are the pioneers of Nucerity International. Do you realize what that means for you to be a pioneer with our company and where you are going to be 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 50, 100 years from today? I want to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, I know there's so many new people in the room. Um, and then I'm just going to tell you a little bit about some of the things that I did when I came into the industry of network marketing um, that really helped me build a successful business. So I was a registered nurse for 10 years. That's my background. And I knew for the last uh, four years of that 10 years that it was not something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Not because I didn't love nursing. I loved it. I just, the lifestyle. Simply put, I wanted to have more freedom and more control over my life. I wanted to own my life. And I didn't feel like I did. So I was introduced to network marketing probably a lot like many of you. And once I understood that this industry is the most brilliant industry in the world, there was no stopping me. I tell people it was hair straight back. And uh, so I was with another company. Um, I, I started in network marketing July of 2005. So when I was introduced to New Serity, I was, I was a VP with another company. And um, to make a long story short, after being introduced to Kevin and talking to him on the phone, um, some of the leaders, Sally and Joanne, um, Lonnie McKenney, and not sleeping for three to four nights, literally, because I needed to know everything there was to know about the company, the comp plan. I knew that at that moment that I was leaving the company that I was with, meaning that I was leaving the paycheck that I was getting, and I started all over again with Nucerity. You know, when I had, I have four children, and I love being a mom, and that's one of the greatest things about this business, is that I get to be present with my kids, and I get to put my family, you get to put your family first, you get to build your business around your family. And, you know, when I had my kids, there was never a question on whether or not my children were going to starve to death. There was never a question, because I was committed to making sure that that never happened. And if you truly want to build a successful business with Nucerity, you have to be committed. You can't be one day in and one day out. You can't be dipping toes in the water and seeing if it feels good. You can't be sitting here tonight thinking, if this doesn't work for me, it's okay because I have that J-O-B that I hate. Or it's okay because my husband, even though he works 20 days of the month away, he makes really good money. And that's what Joanne meant when I said yesterday, you have to close all those back doors. There was no other option for me. I knew that the life that I wanted to live and the life that I wanted to provide for my family was not going to happen working for somebody else. And I knew that the only way that that was going to happen, because nobody is more invested in you and your happiness and in your family and in your family's happiness than you are. So why would you ever put any of that in somebody else's hands when you have the ability today to build a business that can pay you for the rest of your life, that you can will to your family and build a legacy for you and for your family? That's what New Serity is. And Sometimes we come into this business and we, we, we build the business and we treat it like the little thing on the back burner of the stove and then we don't understand why we're not making those rank advancements or why we're not making those big checks. I'm here to tell you that if you play full out and if you give this everything that you got, you can live a life for you and your family that you've dreamed about, maybe when you were that little boy or that little girl. Because we all have dreams inside of us that are waiting, or maybe that have died, that, that you would, things that you would love to do, places you want to go. One thing we all have in common is we each have the same amount of time in a day. We all have the same amount of time. It's what you do with it. And we all 
have an expiration date. So what do you want to see, what do you want to be, and where do you want to go in your lifetime? Because all of that you can reach through building a business like this. This business can change your life like it has changed mine, like it's changed everybody on this stage, like it's changed so many of the leaders that are out in the, in the audience. You know, and so what I'm asking you to do and what you've heard from everybody here tonight, and that's got to tell you something, is you need to know why you're doing this business. For me, I wanted to be at home more with my kids. 18 summers and then they're gone. 18 summers, it goes by fast. I'm in the 18th summer with my son this year. And I can't believe it because I, I, I can remember yesterday holding him in the hospital. I wanted to have more time with my family. I lived paycheck to paycheck as a nurse even though I made good money. You know, so if you've ever had more month at the end of the money, maybe that's one of the reasons why you're here. You have to know why you're building this business and your why has to be bigger than you and it has to make you get up out of bed in the morning and do something that's going to take your dreams and your business forward. Because like I said, nobody's more invested in your success and in your happiness and in your children's future than you are. I've had, like many other people that are sitting on the stage here will tell you, you know, you have, there are some times, I mean, it's not always, it's not always easy. You know, you, you have people that join your business and then they quit. You know, and I always, that's, I said it yesterday and, and I'll say it again because a lady came up to me and said, I just so needed to hear that. You know, I look at it this way, God is weeding my garden. And he doesn't want weeds in my garden, he only wants roses. So sometimes there's a reason why people maybe aren't in your business. The other thing that I'm going to tell you all is that when you start a business like this, you need to be having so much fun and you need to be committed because people are watching you. And I can tell you first-handedly that there were people when I started in, in, uh, in the industry of network marketing that honestly, it took them, when I replaced my full-time nursing monthly income in six months, that's when they came and knocked on my door. They needed to see that I was committed. They needed to see that I was in it for the long haul. If I had been dipping toes in the water or shoved it off on the back burner and was kind of playing with it a little bit, those people would not have... They wouldn't have come to me, I know that. Sometimes the people that you believe should be your biggest cheerleaders, they're not going to be, and that's okay. You have to believe your dreams, your, what you want for your family. You know, I had a lot of people, especially I worked in emergency when I started in the industry, and I was telling doctors and nurses that I was going to be making more money than them. And, you know, some of those doctors were looking at me like I fell off a turnip truck. And it didn't matter what they thought because they weren't paying my bills and they weren't looking after my kids. So I just, I just thought, you know what, it, it just fueled my fire. I thought, oh, I'm going to show you. And when I went casual nursing in six months, they were like, wow. So you don't only want to talk the talk, you want to walk the walk. Because that is what is going to, I'll tell you right now, it's going to attract people to you like flies on pigs on a hot summer day. <laughs> I was trying to say something else, but I couldn't say it. But, you know, another thing that I did is I made lots of exchanges when I, and I still do today, I make lots of exchanges. What can you exchange today for a better tomorrow? Bachelor, bachelorette, big sister, big brother, they're not going to ever pay your mortgage. So if you're spending time and investing time and watching mindless television is what I call it, you know, um, gossiping on the phone, um, doing all of those sorts of things, that's not getting you any closer to your dreams and it's not ever going to help you build your business. Invest in yourself. Invest in your business. You know, get to know your, 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 your upline. Um, you know, build your belief in yourself because that is what 
is going to help you build this business. So I exchanged, you know, my car became, my car became a university. New Serity University, download it on an iPad, plug it into your car. All these cars nowadays, you can plug iPads into them, you can do everything. Uh, iPhones, iPads, all the, you know. And you can be learning while you drive. You can be, instead of watching that bachelor, get on New Serity University and watch a webinar instead that's actually gonna build your MBA, your massive bank account. There's so many things that you can do, but only you can do them. We're here to tell you that you are in, and I truly believe that. I would not have come to this, to this company if I didn't truly believe. I said, you know, and, I, and it's so funny because I always said, you know, New Serity International is a company that books are going to be written about. And it's so funny because now in Dr. Gayla Hawley's book, I mean, New Serity International is talked about in that book. And I'm like, oh, that's just the beginning. You are in the right place at the right time. And everything that you want for yourself and for your family. And sometimes it's really hard to stretch out of your comfort zone, but I'm going to tell you that you're never going to get any more than you have right now if you don't. And the easiest way sometimes to stretch out of that comfort zone is to make it not about you. So sometimes you have to think about your kids, that bank account that's in the negative that visa card that is overdue, the mortgage that you don't know how you're gonna pay. Because I always tell people, the fear of living like that for the rest of your life needs to outweigh your fear from stepping out of your comfort zone. I want you guys to have an incredible weekend. I look forward to talking to many of you. Um, you're in for such an amazing time. Listen to every word, soak it up like a sponge. And for all of you new, you, you new business partners, welcome to Nucerity.